helicopters have long played a crucial role in maritime operations, with their ability to land and take off from ships offering a significant advantage in challenging environments. However, landing helicopters on the pitching and rolling decks of ships in rough seas is a process that requires immense skill, experience, and advanced technology. This video will delve into the history of helicopters, their specifications for maritime operations, why they are used in rough seas, and the techniques that make these daring landings possible. The helicopter's origins can be linked to ancient China's flying top and Leonardo da Vinci's pioneering design in the late 15th century. However, it was only in the 20th century that practical helicopters emerged. Igor Sikorsky, the inventor of the first successful helicopter, the VS-300, achieved flight in 1939. From that point on, helicopters have played a vital role in various applications, including search and rescue efforts and military engagements. This versatile and efficient mode of transportation has evolved over time, but its rich history and early innovations remain an essential part of its story. Principles of helicopter flight include lift generation, thrust, and torque. Helicopters generate lift through their main rotor system. As the rotor blades rotate, they create a difference in air pressure above and below the blades, resulting in lift that keeps the helicopter airborne. The main rotor also provides thrust by tilting the rotor disc in the desired direction, allowing the helicopter to move. The engine's torque, which rotates the rotor system, is counteracted by the tail rotor, preventing the helicopter from spinning. The main components of a helicopter are the rotor system, the transmission, and the engine. Comprising the main rotor and tail rotor, the rotor system is crucial for lift generation, maneuverability, and stability. The transmission transfers power from the engine to the rotor system, enabling the rotors to spin and the engine provides the necessary power for helicopter flight. Helicopters can have piston engines or turbine engines. Common in smaller helicopters, piston engines are similar to those found in automobiles, with a more compact and lightweight design. Turbine engines used in larger helicopters offer more power and efficiency than piston engines, making them ideal for demanding operations. Helicopters are capable of hovering in ground effect, hige. When a helicopter hovers close to the ground, it benefits from increased lift and reduced power requirements due to the interaction between the rotor downwash and the ground surface. At higher altitudes, helicopters can still hover, but require more power and experience a reduction in lift efficiency as the ground effect dissipates. This is called hovering out of ground effect, hoge. Helicopters designed for maritime operations must meet specific requirements to withstand the harsh conditions encountered at sea. These include corrosion-resistant materials. To protect against saltwater corrosion, maritime helicopters are constructed with materials such as stainless steel, aluminum alloys, and specialized coatings. Also, to save space on board ships, maritime helicopters often feature folding rotor blades and tail sections. Finally, to cope with the challenging landing conditions, Maritime helicopters are equipped with advanced avionics and navigation systems that provide real-time data on wind speed, altitude, and the ship's movement. In maritime operations, helicopters serve as indispensable assets thanks to their adaptability and agility. Amidst turbulent sea conditions, they frequently emerge as the sole viable transportation method for executing rescue efforts, delivering essential provisions, or carrying out reconnaissance missions. Helicopters excel in time-sensitive situations, including medical evacuations and search and rescue undertakings, where their swift response can make a life-saving difference. The ability to operate efficiently in rough seas highlights the significance of helicopters in maritime contexts, showcasing their unique capabilities and essential role in challenging environments. 
landing a helicopter on a ship's deck in rough seas is a highly challenging and coordinated process. It typically involves the following steps. Before attempting a landing, the helicopter's crew must be well-trained and proficient in their respective roles. Communication between the pilot, co-pilot, and crew members is vital to ensure a safe and successful landing. Before landing in rough seas, the pilot must evaluate the sea state to ensure a safe approach. This crucial assessment involves analyzing key factors like wave height, wind speed, and the ship's motion. By accurately gauging these elements, the pilot can make an informed decision on whether to proceed or wait for more favorable conditions. This process not only helps minimize the risks associated with landing on a moving ship, but also maximizes the chances of a successful operation. Sea state assessment is an indispensable part of maritime helicopter operations, requiring pilots to have a deep understanding of the ever-changing sea conditions and the ability to adapt their landing strategies accordingly. To facilitate safe landings in rough seas, many modern ships are equipped with deck motion compensation systems. These systems use sensors to measure the ship's movement and adjust the deck accordingly, helping to maintain a stable landing surface for the helicopter. Despite the best preparation and technology, emergencies can still occur during helicopter landings in rough seas. Pilots and crew members must be well-versed in emergency procedures, such as aborting a landing, executing a go-around, or performing a ditching maneuver in the event of a critical situation. Quick decision-making and adherence to established protocols are crucial for the safety of both the helicopter crew and the personnel on the ship. Helicopters have proven to be invaluable assets in various maritime operations, offering several advantages. Helicopters can perform a wide range of tasks, such as search and rescue, medical evacuations, cargo transport, and surveillance. They have the speed and agility to quickly respond to emergencies, and their ability to hover and maneuver in tight spaces makes them ideal for operations in challenging environments. In military operations, helicopters can rapidly deploy troops and equipment, enabling rapid responses and a more flexible approach to mission planning. Helicopters can also access remote and hard-to-reach areas where other modes of transportation may not be feasible or efficient. Landing helicopters in rough seas is a complex and challenging process that requires a combination of skilled pilots, advanced technology, and seamless coordination among the crew. Despite the inherent risks and difficulties, helicopters have proven to be crucial assets in maritime operations, providing life-saving capabilities and contributing to the success of various missions. As technology continues to advance and pilots receive ever more sophisticated training, helicopters will remain an indispensable tool in the challenging and unpredictable world of rough sea operations. Let us know in the comments what you think about the video, and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this.